No, don't touch me. Smallpox, mutated form. Small pox. Dr. Ants, it's Ray. I need a favor. There is no vaccine. I tried to tell you on the telephone, there is no smallpox vaccine because there is no smallpox. I wouldn't worry about it, though. You'd die of exposure in here first. I just buried a guy in a freezer who said he had smallpox. Virulent, mutated smallpox. There's a blood sample on the shelf. After we got off the phone, I made over a dozen phone calls, hospitals, clinics. Ray, there hasn't been a single reported case of smallpox in almost 15 years. Nobody keeps the vaccine around anymore. I tried tracking some down through the MPA computer. As far as I can tell, World Health still keeps a small sample of the live virus just in case they have to manufacture some vaccine. Now, that's the only place we might even have a little luck. All right, uh, run the sample. Let me know how it turns out. Try again on the vaccine. Ray, I'm telling you, I've done everything there is to... Try. That's all I'm asking. Just try. You know, if you have been infected, you'd be better off in a hospital where I can treat you. No, I don't want to risk it. 
if I've got it. By the time you got me to a hospital, I would have been in contact with at least half a dozen people. If I do have it, this is where it stays. I'll wait for you. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Hello? David. It's me. Well, it's, uh, been a long time. How are you? Ask me tomorrow. What do you know about world health and smallpox? I'm, uh, not in a position to discuss that with you. About two hours ago, a man named Louis Kelter dropped dead on my doorstep. He told me he worked for world health and claimed that he was dying from some mutated form of smallpox. Now, I don't know if I've got it isolated, and I don't know who else he came into contact with. Now, you may not be free to talk to me, but I sure as hell am free to call the Times, the Examiner, the Networks. Now, you want that? About six months ago, who reported six cultures missing? It was smallpox virus. They keep it on hand in case they need to manufacture serum antibodies. The House Subcommittee on Health recommended a news blackout. We agreed. Until we got a line on it, there was no need to create public concern. Well, you may find you're going to have public panic on your hands if this thing isn't stopped. They have any leads? I'd uh, have to get with Congressman Hartzler on it. He heads the subcommittee. Where are you? Don't you mean, how am I? How are you? I just asked somebody the same question. I don't know yet. Let's hope you don't read about it in the papers. One, two, three. You're okay. You can come out. My lab tech says he's never seen anything like it. It is smallpox, but the concentration is so high that it can gestate, emerge full-blown, and die all within a period of four hours. And it's accelerating but they don't know why. The best guess is, if you haven't come down with it so far, you're out of the woods. Knock on, uh, on wood, eh? 
Listen, it was a good thing you thought to burn that car and use the freezer. Uh, he was at the end of the viral cycle, but by the time you came in contact with him, he was still moderately contagious. What about the vaccine? I still want to get some for you, just to be on the safe side. I tried again. It was the same as before. There just hasn't been any call for this stuff for 15 years. But I'm going to keep searching. Listen, I want you to come into the hospital. I just want to run a few tests. Thanks for your help, Doctor. What about the hospital? Uh, somebody I got to talk to. Well, if there's anything else I can do. Thanks. We're even. Congressman Hartzler, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for busting in like this. It's just uh, I, I didn't have any time to make an appointment. Uh, if you go for the button, sir, we are not going to be able to talk about smallpox. Who are you? Smallpox virus. Six cultures. Stolen from the World Health Organization. Your subcommittee recommended a news ban. Why? You can leave now or I can call security. Well, I can leave now and I'll just take the story with me. Look, I don't know anything about this. You don't know anything about this. You don't know anything about a man named Lewis Kelter who died about six hours ago, who I've got in a freezer at Canaan Doom Road. You don't know anything about that? About a mutated virus that kills people in four hours and then destroys itself? You don't know anything about that? No. But if you do, I'll be happy to listen. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had gotten some kind of information that led me to believe that you were involved in some kind of cover-up. Uh, my name is... Alan Ruckheiser, I'm a journalist. I, I work for United News Service. My editor sent me out on this wild goose chase. I, would, you, would you please accept my apology and please don't get me fired. Forget it. Thank you, sir. It's a vaccination mark, less than six months old. What are you afraid of? Smallpox is a dead disease. Get him out of here. Uh oh, sorry guys. I'm leaving. I'm gonna need a van out at Canaan Doom Road. Sorry, guys, but I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs>
Check all the rooms. Personnel must be suited and processed for entry. All non-restricted personnel must report to the information desk on visitor level one. Make sure all the wrapping and tape is disposed of properly. Al, I'll see you in the playroom. All right. Hey, how you doing? Great. Nothing starts out the day better than cutting open dead people and running lab tests all day. Yeah, I know what you mean. Here, let me give you a hand with that. Oh, thanks. You new around here? I don't think I've seen you before. Well, let's hope you don't see me again. <laughs> Initial observation. Heart and cavity, normal size, clear of fluids. I'm extending the incision for an examination of the liver, pancreas, and digestive tract, scalpel. Once again, from all initial observations, the cavity organs are normal and undistressed. I'm going to cut the cranium for an examination and removal of the brain. So, Do we have a blood workup yet? I don't know. We'll go and see what's keeping him. Yes, sir.
1947 is what happened. If we don't find Thorson, we're going to have a biological crisis on our hands. Catch me up. In my office. This whole thing has gotten way out of hand, Don. I mean, they kept tripping over his conscience. I thought we settled that. It didn't hold. About 12 hours ago, this guy Kelter shows up. Starts pressing Larry about details. Apparently, they, they traced the World Health break-in back to us. Larry panicked, made a grab for the virus. Kelter tripped over his own feet, got contaminated. Where's Thorson now? I don't know. I've got all my people calling everyone he ever knew, ever talked to. We can't find him. There were six modules of LD-7. He's got them all. Well, the active life now is what, down to uh, three hours? Two? After contact. Before the stuff hits the air, it'll last forever. How the hell did this happen? Well, however it happened, I am not going to take responsibility for keeping the lid on this any longer. If Larry manages to bury that stuff deep enough, that's fine. But if he has any trouble, if he breaks one of the modules, He's going to take a few million people with him. What are you saying? You're saying that I should make a public announcement? Well, this is your baby, Congressman. You were the one lobbying to keep up the research on viral warfare. Now, if we break the story now, we might still be able to inoculate people. You're going to inoculate eight million people in a couple of hours? We don't even have vaccine, except for what we're using for ourselves. Oh, and that's all that counts, right? You just better pray that Larry is planning on burying those modules 60 feet below the earth. Because if he has any trouble, God knows what is going to come out of it. Still no word on the attempted break-in at the federal building into Congressman Hartzler's office. Authorities are investigating. Stay with us for updates through the night.
How many there are? You still think you can keep this quiet? How could all this happen? It's what Larry was afraid of right from the beginning. Accidents. Something falling into the wrong hands. I didn't plan on this. How do you like your theory in action, Congressman? The theory is sound. We just weren't careful enough. That's got to be worked into the theory. Having a loaded gun in a drawer is a wonderful theory until the wrong person picks it up. Excuse me. I've got work to do. Accelerating even faster than we'd expected. Must have accomplished all this in less than an hour. Area's clear. Area's clear. You men, move those people out of that car. We're gonna need it to drive to the residential area. Be quick about it. Put it with the others. Excuse me. I really don't think so, Congressman. Drop it! What do you think? You think he can kill me before I shoot you? What do you think? gun down. I said put it down. Back off. It's a hell of a lot easier to play the hero when you're dealing with other people's lives, isn't it? Isn't it? David Warren, Congressman, Special Assistant to the President. Well, it looks like the posse got here just in time. This man is interfering with official business. He's tried several Step times. Step a second, we... it, Congressman. Look, At I this a... point, the less you say, the better. I have a problem, The president has ordered this entire county placed under martial law. Get these guys in the truck. Does he go too, sir? Put him in the truck. Ray, I left right after you called. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? We're looking at about two dozen very, very dead people. That's what the hell we're looking at. Larry Thorson came up here. 
I think he was trying to get rid of the modules. Unfortunately, he just missed the ditch. Do you have any idea where he might be headed? No, but I do know that if, if he's sick and he has more modules and if anything happens to him, it's going to make what happened here look like a walk through the park. Like he dropped the module, panicked, and ran. It's 500 square miles of mountain range up here. Which mile? Maybe we should just leave him alone. I know the stuff cleared out of the air, but it'd be a good idea if you guys put your breathers back on. If you've got it, then we've got it. It's a little late for that. You've had a lot of exposure. Get yourself into a hospital. You ever taste the food in a hospital? He has a plan. He didn't just drive his truck into the mountains. He bought that concrete over a week ago. Last time I saw you was six years ago. Went to the files to pull your next assignment. I turned around and you were gone. Yeah, well, something came up. spent 18 months and $400,000 trying to find you. There was no record of a Raymond Franklin Parker ever even having been born. Bureaucracy, David. Just a hell of a lot of bureaucracy. Papers get lost in the shuffle. Well, they weren't lost when we hired you. You had to check out from top to bottom before you came to work with us. Yeah, these things happen. Who are you? Fission fusion, a nuclear controversy. Yeah. Light reading. I think I got something. Generating intense heat, whereas by tearing at the atom's core, this is underlined. Enough energy can be generated at high enough levels that cores must be isolated with layered steel and concrete to ensure satisfactory isolation. What's it supposed to mean? How far are we from Lake Coltrera? About um, 115 miles. There's some kind of a power plant up there. You think Thorson's headed there? Well, it's got everything he's looking for. Steel, core, concrete, isolation. You play Huntress? Uh, when it's the only game in town.
reservoir. Down the marshals. Get out of here. Come on, Larry. Put him down. Larry, you already broke one of the marshals. I'm trying to help you. Just put him down. No. No. They sent you, didn't they? Nobody sent me. Look, Hartzler's been arrested. It's all right. We know what happened. Put him down. Come on. Give him to me. Oh, oh. You're lying. Who are you? I'm a friend. A man came to see you. He worked for the World Health Organization. Do you remember that? He came to me for help. Understand me? And who are you? I'm a friend. Larry, look out. I have to bury these. They're dangerous. They, they hurt people. Larry. Larry. Larry, put down the modules. I can't. It's my fault. Larry, I just want to help. You don't understand. Larry, no! Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Right. It's going to take a while, but he should pull through. He built up a lot of immunity with all the vaccine he'd taken. How's the other man? Raymond Parker? If that's the name he gave you. How is he? Not as well. As far as we can tell, he only had one vaccination. And a lot of contact with the virus. What's the prognosis? Well, we hope he had enough vaccine to carry him through all this. And if you have a lot of faith, you pray. I'd like to see him. For a minute. Nurse, what happened to the patient in here? I don't know. Uh, his, his fever broke about an hour ago, and I asked him if he wanted something to eat, and he said, only if I order out. Well, 
breathless whispers echo through a lonely room. I just can't escape the love.